Well, hello friends. Welcome to Maria's Miscellany. We're in this video. I'm so excited to be doing a swap and glue. Now, I already opened this envelope. I actually opened it during my live that I, um, it was an impromptu live that I had some extra time because husband said he was going to be about an hour late coming home and I took advantage. <laughs> so I got online for about an hour on, um, Tuesday evening. So if you haven't checked that out, um, you know, you can just go back through my videos. Um, but, uh, yeah, first of all, look at this gorgeous, gorgeous envelope. It is just magical, really, you know, with the, the colors are beautiful, the green and the gold. I'm just loving it. And i um, just got to cover the address here. This comes from Maggie and, um, I will link her channel below if she has a YouTube channel. I mean, well, everybody has a YouTube channel, even if she doesn't uh, do videos. I'll link it below because I don't know. I think you can communicate with her through YouTube. I'm not sure. But in any case, um, yeah. Um, so I sent her the envelope. But the fun thing is, look at this. It came from New Zealand. So how fun. And look at these gorgeous stamps. Lord of the Rings. So... I understand a lot of the Lord of the Rings scenery was recorded in New Zealand. It's such a beautiful place. So in addition to the beautiful jelly printing, I believe that's jelly printing. Um, she has a decoupage, some gorgeous little birds on there. So I almost didn't see them. And um, when I noticed them, I was like, wow, that's so cool. Okay. So anyway, so I'm going to keep it on this side. So I don't have to keep covering the address over there. Of course, my PO box is in the description, so I don't care if that shows, but let me go ahead and take this out. And she did write me a note and I asked her if I could share. Um, yeah, well, I'm sharing only what she has allowed me to. Um, however, I am going to go ahead and definitely take out the address because I don't necessarily want to change, I mean, share the address, but I wanted to show you this gorgeous, she also either jelly printed or stenciled on this paper. How pretty is that? So she says, hi, Maria, my name is Maggie. I turned 73 on the 11th of April. Thank you for doing the swap and glue with me. I've been doing art since 2015. I love mixed media, glue books, and the dabble in junk journal making, ATCs, postcards, tags, and embellishments. Kia Kaha. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Stay strong. And she usually signs her comments like that. Best regards, Maggie. You can find me here, and that's her email address and YouTube channel, which I will... Like I said, link her YouTube channel if that is okay with her. So, um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. And that paper is actually going to be going into my personal glue book probably. I don't know. Or my personal journal. I don't know if I'll put it in this glue book. I also have a friend journal that I may put it in. But, oh, let me look. And, and I already went through these again. So I'm just going to just really quickly show you what she sent me. Beautiful magazine pages. A lot of them, if not... Most of them from Daphne's diary. So this is from, from Flo. Actually, I just saw that down here. Beautiful. Look at these. Gorgeous, gorgeous pages. Ah, just love it. Which is actually, I'm actually liking, you know, normally for a glue book, having like large pieces like this is not necessarily, you know, um, I'm not going to say not necessarily the best, but depending on your glue book, you know, you might not be able to use the whole image if it's um, a large image, but these are perfect because I'm just actually starting a new glue book and I'm going to show you and share it with you. Um, this is just a plain one that I put together um, and I actually have some that are inspired by this in my uh, Etsy shop, not anywhere like this. This is like a plain one I just made for myself. It's just... Um, what do you call it? File fo leftover file folder. And then these are some papers that they were like personal papers that normally you would shred. But I thought, ooh, instead of shredding it, let me see if I can cover the information with paint. So I did that. And I didn't do this on a video, I don't think. Maybe part of it I did. But I, I just did it like in front of TV type of thing. And I just used black gesso 
on most of them because you know the printing was black so i wanted to make sure that everything was covered and then on i added some other colors on top and even some white on top and so i would call these my ugly papers that i don't mind gluing on top of really the painting was just to cover the personal information that was on here so there's i believe eight sheets here um so i was able to just sew them with my sewing machine onto the file folder so it's definitely gonna be a sturdy but it's not real big but it's great so i'm going to dedicate this to swap and glue and because it is so plain i can decorate the whole thing and actually maggie your your stuff is going to be the cover for for my journal because um you know it is plain and just you know it needs work so look at this i'm actually going to cover this with your envelope i think that will be beautiful. So let me, you know, I'm going to go ahead and tear out the address um, because, you know, I don't want to. I have your address, so I can always write to you. Um, but I'm going to just, and I'm doing it off camera, obviously, because I don't want to, you know, share your address with the world here or the, you know, few people that watch my channel. <laughs> All right, so there it goes. So I've ripped it off. You can kind of still see a little bit of a ghost of an address there, but um, just tearing all, I'm just, and I'm just pulling it like this. I'm not, you know. Uh, now, in my live the other night, somebody mentioned that you could use a heat gun to loose to, you know, loosen the glue, and that could help you remove it. I don't have a heat gun. Um, I had one before, but it was actually my son's, so. You know, when we moved, he, he kept his heat gun. But um, I was wondering if just a blow dryer would work. So, you know what? Let me try it. I'll remove this, too, because um, I, even though I don't mind you seeing my address, I'd love to remove these um, stamps to see if I can use them somewhere else. So let me go grab a blow dryer, and we'll try it out together. Well, shoot. I don't know what happened to our hair dryer. It's not working. So um, it looks like I'm going to need uh, to buy a new one. Or, hey, why not just buy a heat gun, right? <laughs> so I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. So with that being the case, I guess I'm going to leave these stamps here. That's fine. I love the little birds. So maybe I'll make this the front of my cover. Because I can always put something on top of my address here. And so the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to open the envelope this way. And I don't care if it's rough, but I guess I should have just cut it. I'm just doing this with you here. So this is all part of the swap and glue because, I mean, I'm using what she sent me to cover my journal here, my book. This is actually a really nice paper, too, this envelope. Okay. So I'm going to, let's see, this is, it's got a pocket in the back. I don't necessarily need to keep it. I might just go ahead and cover it. Um, I'll still have one on this side. So what I did is, this was like, like the little divot that went in from the file folder. I wanted to cover that or even it out. So I took another piece and I just folded it over, which created this pocket. You know, I just wanted to square it out. See, this has that little piece, but that wasn't that big of a deal. This one was really, like, in here. So, um, but, you know, like I said, I don't even have to keep the the pocket if I don't want to. And I'd, I'd rather have this pretty paper. I think the inside pocket will probably be okay. Let me push it a little bit. And this, I had put this in here just... <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put it aside for a minute. So let's see, this is like just barely covering it. Oh, no, I wanted the, I wanted this side. I wanted this side in front, right? So yeah, so I'm just gonna go with like the natural, like this folds over and then, um, yeah, let's just, let's just go with that. So let me get my gluing book under here. And I'm just going to use regular glue stick. And I also have this Yoohoo glue stick somewhere. I don't know where to start. <sighs> See, if I bring stuff with me to craft elsewhere, then it gets, you know, <laughs> it gets 
um, it doesn't always get put away <laughs> where it should. So, but that's okay. That's why I have tons of glue sticks. If I ever go down to, you know, like two or three glue sticks, I'm running to buy some. And I go ahead and get the, the inexpensive ones. Because, again, I don't mind. If stuff comes up later, I can always re-glue it or whatever. You know, this is just for me. It's not stuff I'm selling. Stuff that I would be selling, uh, like tags or, or journals that I'm selling, I will usually do the sewing to reinforce. So, um, you know, I, I just use glue stick for stuff like this for myself. And there's a little bit left over here, which is perfect. So I'm just going to cut this in the middle and like a tiny little angle there. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue here. Same thing here. I'm just going to, I don't know, my frame and frame. I want to make sure I stay in frame. So I'm going to not go all the way to the inside, but just like that. And I don't want to waste anything. I'm going to go ahead and hold that off to the side. And... Here we go. This is gorgeous. Oh, Maggie, thank you so much. <laughs> ah, look at that. Okay. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. So, and then this. Yeah, and see, it's rough. I don't care. I'm, I just don't want to waste any of this. So, I should have actually done this here. I'll do it after the fact. Cut a little bit like that, and then I'll put that somewhere else. Okay. You know, you kind of want to miter your corners a little bit, just so that it folds over better. Okay, glue that down. There. And you see how that is not perfect there? But that's because my, my file folder was not perfect. So, hmm, i just maybe just tuck it like that like this and then maybe I'll use like this little corner to kind of finish it off a little bit better let's do that like that and again this is just glue stick so I may have to come back with a better glue to if it you know if it comes up but that's okay I just want to finish it off a little bit here it's sticking to my hands <laughs> all right yeah, um, because of all the paint on there and everything, I need to, because I'm paint, I'm glue, trying to glue onto the paint, I'm going to have to come up with a better glue. So I'm just grabbing my art glitter glue to stick it on, and that should take care of it. Yeah, awesome. And if it's sticking out there a little bit, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll clean it up later, try to fold it over, but if not, I can cut it off later. Okay, there. And I'm probably going to do something else here, so I'm not worried about that. So that's the front. And again, I'm going to keep going on this. But let me go ahead and do the back. Now the back, because the envelope is naturally like this, it's not covered, going to be covered at top. But that's okay, because I can always come back and use something else to cover it. I'm just going with the flow here. I'm just going with it. Um, so let me go ahead and glue this again, not again, but I mean this part. Okay. So, um, I hope this inspires you a little bit. Um, if nothing else, cause I know sometimes when like, for example, you know, I'm doing this and now I fold it over to the back and I'm like, oh man, it's not covering the whole back. It's like, you know what? Don't worry about it because there's always something you can do. Of course, it depends on what your original plan was. And my original plan for this is just to have fun gluing and to just enjoy the things that are sent to me by my lovely subscribers, my lovely friends out there. So I'm not going to allow myself to get upset, you know, by something like this, because I can always just add something else and glue something else on there. So, um... Again, if you if you had a plan for a project, like if you were doing a journal for somebody, you know, that requested something specific, I mean, I understand, you know, it's, it's frustrating if something doesn't go as you planned. But even then, I know that you can think of a creative way to fix it or to make it work or, 
make it part of the design, you know? Even um, if it wasn't originally intended, the way that it comes out, you know, we call those happy accidents, right? Sometimes um, when things don't go as you planned, it might actually turn out better than what you planned. You know, you never know. So it's just kind of the way you look at it. Um, but, you, I mean, you do need to be happy with it. I mean, I'm not saying, you know, just accept whatever. <laughs> but the, what I'm saying is that you can keep working at it until you are happy with it. And uh, there's always something you can do to maybe fix it. So, all right. Again, when little bits here need extra strength to glue down, just come in with uh, the better glue. And see, this is coming up. So I'll just come in with a better glue. So I always just start with a glue stick. And when it doesn't perform as I need it to, I'll come in with a better glue. But this way I'm saving my more expensive glues, you know, for when I really need them. So, yeah. There we go. Okay. Oops. Getting stuck to my gluing book. Okay. There we go. I just wanted that to open all the way to the end. All right, and then I'll have to, you know, find something to cover that with. So, yay, I'm so happy. Look at my book. It's already looking pretty. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these images. There's so many pretty images in here. <gasps> Look at that tiger. actually goes really well with these colors. So maybe I can fussy cut him. Oh, yeah, I think I like that. Let's fussy cut him and... and um, use them like to cover my address and such which again i don't care that you're seeing it but you know i don't want to see it on my cover all the time and if i do keep this real time i hope you don't mind and i hope you will let me know let me know if you appreciate um just watching the real time stuff or if you prefer when i just speed through like the cutting and you know the details i thought you would probably want to see the process of me covering the cover because you know that's um i don't know i just thought that that would be helpful oh i don't want to cut his shadow let me um cut a little bit of his shadow there but let me just do it like this just to see and i can always cut it off later but if i cut it off now i won't have it if i decide i wanted it Okay, see, I wanted to cover my address, but I don't want to cut off his face, obviously. So, ooh, I like him. I like him, but I still need to cover my address. So, let's see. So, what we can do in, in that, that situation is, like, use some of the other background. So, let's see, what did I cut off here? Maybe I should have left the background in. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to put some of the background back in. And that'll take care of it. And I know that's a shadow and it's not necessarily where it was, where it was but that's okay. I think I'm going to do that. Because see, it's also covering this little bird here. I don't necessarily want to cover the bird. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take that bit of the background just to cover my name. And then I'm going to put him there. And he is covering the little bird. But you know what? That little bird actually looks like he's sitting on him now. <laughs> kind of. Not really. But yeah. So this is. Yeah. I want to do this. So let me just take it out. And I am going to use the glitter glue. Because again. I am gluing on top of paint. So it's going to need something a little stronger than glue stick. And I believe I'm over here like this. Oh, I didn't want to cover the bird too much so this bird will look like it's looking up at him and that one is looking down let's see yep that works that works that works all right yes okay so now let me grab my gluing book again and uh you know what i'm gonna go ahead and just use glue stick on all the main part here and then just take this and just do the edges. Oh, and I just remembered not all of them fits, but that's okay because I'm going to fold it over. 
So I'm just doing the edges with the glue stick, um, with the art glitter glue. Okay. And throwing a little bit in there. Okay. So here we go. Definitely want all of his paw down there. Yes. Okay, you can still see a little head of the bird there. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and fold it over. So the rest of him is back here. That just does, I think that just keeps the edge really clean there like that. I love it! Love it. Now, that little bit, I'll probably add something there to cover that, you know, piece of label that I took off. But for now, I think I just like it like that. And actually this, I was trying to peel it out, but since I'm going to leave them here, let me add a little glue to the edges so that they get really stuck there. There we go. Yes, because we're keeping that there. Beautiful. I love it already. And oh, maybe I can put this. Yeah, check it out. I'll use these little pieces that I um, cut off the, the, you know, the edges or whatever. And yes, I will use them to patch this piece, this unsightly bit here. Which is unsightly because I ripped off a label, not because of anything by the artist, obviously. Okay. Um, okay. That little bit can go, but let's see. Look at that. Unless you look at it very closely, you won't even be able to tell that it's patched up. How pretty. And I'm using every bit of this gorgeous paper. See? It's just patched up there. It's part of the collage. Yay! Okay, so we'll deal with that in a little bit. Actually, let's go ahead and see what we can find to cover that. Yep. So maybe even a piece of this, because, you know, we don't want to waste any of this pretty. This is beautiful right here, too. So maybe we'll just use a piece of this. Yeah, let's do that. It doesn't even have to go that far down, just enough to cover it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. I may have to trim a little bit more. And again, I'm going to just use glue stick in the middle parts. And our glitter glue all around the edges. that I don't want to come up, you know? And a little bit extra down there. Okay, so let's see how we're gonna do this. Do I want this straight in the back? I think I like the more, you know, kind of organic look this way like this. Okay, there we go. Yes, so not all that is covered. Now we're going to fold this over to the inside. And, and this is what I meant that I might have to trim here, which is fine. Actually, let's see. You know what? I'm not going to trim it. I'm just going to, like, with my little bit of nail that I have, push it into the spine there and just let it glue onto that piece of paper. Because, let's see, yeah, there, just leave it there. And then, that nah, it's going to come up. Well, you know what, I'm going to tear it, I'm going to tear it. I'm just going to press it on my nail and tear it. I don't want to complicate things here. Okay, yep, good enough. All right, so we have covered our cover. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. Now, some of these pages, uh, I was saying in my live, as I was looking through them, are so gorgeous. 
that they make great pages in a journal they, like this. I might actually use this on the cover of a journal that I have coming up. So I don't, I, I want to save that. That's so gorgeous. Um, maybe, let's see, it's a big image, but I might be able to, let's see, can I fit it in here? Hmm, I don't want to cut any of him off. There's his beak and there's his wing. I guess a little bit of the wing is okay if it gets off. Yeah, I mean, how gorgeous would it be to just open this journal and have this? Oh, or make this part of the cover. And then the wing can go on to here. Oh, yeah, let's just do it. And in order to do this, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to glue on the cover. And then I'm going to put the paper over it and just rip around it. Because see, all the edges of the cover are going to be um, covered. <laughs> um, so, and I like the ripped look. You know, sometimes I cut, sometimes I rip. But I want to make sure that this whole bird is here. So his foot is down here. Actually, I can get all this leafy stuff. I want to make sure and get his beak. Okay, his beak is right at the edge. And pull it, up, pull it back a little bit. Pull it back a little bit. It's a good thing about glue stick is you know you can readjust things. Okay, got the beak. Let's get all of the bottom. Okay, the beak is all of the beak is there. Let's move him in a little bit because like I said, I want to rip around round him so let's move in, in a little bit so it's a little bit after the beak okay yes and a little bit above here okay there we go now i'm going to really stick it down and what i was going to do in the, with the other one is let me actually take my bone folder and kind of just really go into the crease there And then just glue this and glue that onto the paper. And I am loving this little plain book. So let me know if you would be interested in a, like a super, and it would be very inexpensive, super plain book like this. I can whip them up. Um, I can use some of my painted papers or just some other, any type of other, you know, paper that I know you're going to be okay gluing over. Um, let me know if you're interested in that. And then maybe I'll add those to my Etsy shop. Because the ones I have in my Etsy shop right now are plain, but they really are journals. They have different papers in them, not just, you know, not, not, I don't actually, I don't think any of them have painty papers in them. I just used, you know, all kinds of different uh, book papers and stuff that I have. So for this, I'm just going to crease this and just rip it like this. There we go. If you crease it nicely, it, it, re it rips pretty nicely. There we go. Yes, I love that. Okay. And same thing over here. I'm going to see I want a little bit of the uh, edge to show there and then the, the paper down here is a little bit shorter than the cover anyway so maybe I'll go down a little bit more like that okay and since I have a bone folder here might as well use them okay and I just rip 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 I love, love, love it. Okay, so I can have this rip lower because this paper is, you know, smaller. And look how beautiful. I'm having so much fun. Thank you, Maggie, for these beautiful images. Oh, my goodness. All right. What a great start to this little glue book. Okay. Smooth it out as best as I can, but I'm really not too concerned about wrinkles. It's all character. <laughs> all right, and now let's see what else. And these are so beautiful. 
I'm still going to keep these scraps because I can use them as background. So I'm going to hold on to this. And let me look at this. Even this is gorgeous. So I can use it as more background or I can even tear them up for collage, for smaller collages or clusters. I've been making clusters recently. Ooh, look, by Paravion, International Air. That's got to go right here because somewhere here. I don't want to cover his feathers. I don't mind covering some of the plants. So I'm going to put that here because that, that was on the envelope. And it's kind of fun because the bird obviously flies. So I like the word air there, like right here. There we go. Yes. Nice. So it's just a little bit something off, you know, but I like it. Oh, yes, I'm loving this. Okay, here's, I'm going to go ahead and trim this a little bit. There we go. All right. Yeah. Okay. Covers all covered. Let's do the inside back cover. There's so many beautiful things in here. Okay. This. See, I'm, I'm going to be selfish because... I was thinking these would make a great journal page, and it would, but I, I want to keep it. So now there's these little images back here. I love that one. So let's see if I can kind of still keep that for myself or something else. So maybe I will do it this way. Oh, yeah, because it fits just inside. And then I can tear. Yep. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to just crease it again. I'm using my nail, but of course I can use my bone folder too. And I'm just going to rip. There we go. And I love it. So do I want it like this? Or do I want it like this? I think I want it like this. I think that just makes more sense. It just feels, you know, more right somehow. Okay. So, so yeah, so again, with your glue book, right now I'm just covering the cover, but um, I think it was Sherry when she was doing her spread with the stuff that I sent her said that, um, you know, you don't have to do collage. Your glue book doesn't have to be collage. I mean, most people do, you know, collage in their glue book. But for example, like that big bird or like there's so many gorgeous large images here. I could just decide that I like the image and I just want to cover the whole page with the image. And that is perfectly fine because your glue book is whatever you want it to be. It's where you glue down the things that you like. And if you want to make those into a collage, that's great. But you don't have to. You know, you can just uh, glue down things that you like. And that's how I started with, you know, my glue book is just gluing down things that I liked. That I, maybe I didn't know what else to do with it, but I wanted to keep them because I liked the images. So I put them in my glue book, and that is how I started the glue booking. Um, and um, I think I did try to maybe do kind of like little spreads, like, you know, but a lot of times my gluing is just, you know, I have a pile of images that I like. I just want to keep them somewhere, and that somewhere is my glue book. <laughs> So here we go. So yeah, look at this. I love it. So there is my covers all done. And um, there's so much more here still. Let's see what else I want to capture in this glue book. And I can still use this. Still debating whether I will want to use cut this little bit out. Or I could even use this as a page, a small page, you know, in a little journal or something. So, yeah, put that to this side. And then, let's see. What else do I want to include here now? Mm -hmm. I really love this. And let's see. Here's, here was the start of the other bird. I don't want to cut off where it says Mary here. Okay. Oh, yes, this. You know, I almost, I was considering this for the cover, actually. 
you know it's like kind of like really romantic <laughs> but um since i did not do that let me go ahead and do it here so i want to make sure and get this girl i don't know if i want to get napoleon and josephine in here yeah i do it'll fit and i love the the border but um i can use that on something else let's see yeah so that's i want to get that okay that'll be perfect all right so definitely just tear this Ooh, I cut a little bit of the end but that's okay so i, I want to keep some of this so okay so keep napoleon josephine so do this and again like i was saying it looks like in this Google book, again, because of some of the images or most of the images that Maggie sent me are just gorgeous, large images. I'm just ending them. I'm just ending up gluing them down. And, you know, um, I probably could fill this <laughs> entire book with what she sent me, which is really funny because that's what Sherry said about <laughs> the one that I sent her. But um it's yeah it's fun especially you know when you send somebody um images and they like them and they want to use them all so yes definitely maggie thank you so much for every one of these pages you picked out for me i appreciate them and as you can see i am definitely having fun with them and even all these pieces you know i can use so yeah all right so we got this and we got this and how far can I go here? Where's the page? Where's the end of the page? Maybe I'll just go ahead and fold it over too. So yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and glue all of this. And for this, I am just going to use a glue stick. And okay. Oh, I just peeked at the time. I've been at this for a little over half an hour, which actually it's not a long time. If you think about how much we got done. So I'm actually really happy with this session, this gluing session here. Um, I feel like I got a lot done in like half an hour or so. But I think this will be the last image I glue for now. And, um, ooh, <laughs> oh, that came off. I'm using my glue stick all the way to the bitter end. <laughs> okay, yes. And uh, let's stick this here. Let's see how, okay, the page goes all the way down to there. Okay, beautiful. I don't want to cover the wing. Let's move over. Okay, beautiful. So we have this. And then we're going to fold over here. Can even extend the page a little bit. Okay, and look, you got that little guy there. So if I want to glue over his hand and things like that, I can. And I can just leave that little guy, which actually looks kind of creepy. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. I love it. Got to add some glue here. Missed this part. So I'll just use the glitter glue and the edges glitter glue just to get it down. Yeah. See how my corner's down here. This is fine okay look how pretty that is i love it so um yeah so that is my swap and glue session for today um i hope you enjoyed it i hope you're not disappointed that it's not a collage per se but um you know what i'm like um, I was saying, a glue book doesn't have to be just collage. Uh, I mean, I probably will do some collaging, you know, throughout the rest of this book. Um, we'll see. If I, might, if I just find large images that I want to glue down, then, then that's all it will be. It, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you love it, that you have fun. And in this case, with the swap and glue, that you are you know, um, sharing with others, <laughs> this lovely, lovely bit of fun. All right. Let me know what you think. Let me know, um, anything you want to tell me. And what I want to tell you is thank you so much for spending this time with me. And I really hope you have a very blessed day. Bye-bye.